Hello, I'm Grim Grindle. Welcome back to Build Request. The request I'm taking a swing at today is a Banshee from the Halo franchise, or more specifically, the Banshee from Halo 2, because that's the one I chose to model after. I've actually built a Banshee once before, long ago, but I was so very unhappy with it that it didn't even make it into the Halo showcase. And so this time around, I figured rather than just building the same vehicle again, I might as well strive to be even better. One of the two who have requested this vehicle, Little Man 9 Mew 2, specifically asked for the vehicle to be able to do Banshee tricks, but I figure why not go one step further and make sure that this Banshee can do literally everything that a Banshee can do in Halo 2. Which means that, as well as me wanting it to actually at least slightly resemble a Banshee, I also wanted to be able to boost, hover in place, fire its regular strafing shots, have a Banshee bomb style attack, and of course be able to do Banshee tricks. But to begin with, we first have to get the looks down to part, because there's no point trying to figure out how much I can fit in and how, if I don't even know what kind of space I'm working with. And as you can likely see, a lot of this build was really just trying to get the skeleton of the Banshee down to pat, and figuring out how much detail I could put in it. From the very beginning, I think I got the look looking quite good very quickly, but that just meant there was still room for improvement. And if you're wondering what the deal is with the wings standing on their sides, and what I was hoping to achieve with that, to be completely honest, I don't know, I wanted to see how it would perform with it, it didn't, I didn't entirely expect it to actually work, but you never find out these things if you never experiment. As always with rounded vehicles, it's very difficult to achieve the actual look you're going for, and this is very much the case for the dome top of the Banshee. I'm still not entirely happy with how it turned out, it doesn't look quite as streamlined as I was hoping for, but it's the best I've gotten it so far. And the other major cosmetic sacrifice I made was the little jets on the sides of the Banshee, which I've used super jets for. Really, I should have probably used small jets, but in Halo 2, the jets are coloured blue, and since they're what you stare at the entire time, I wanted to get the colour scheme right. Going for the small jets would have made them glow orange, which is a bit too Halo 1 for what I was trying to achieve. So let's just pretend that the Banshee's pulses aren't comically oversized and move on. I then started to work on the functionality, adding a gyroscope for the Banshee tricks and adding some egg guns on the front for the regular strafing fire before doing a bunch more cosmetic rearranging. It was also during this remodeling that I added a torpedo launcher under the belly of the ship for the Banshee bombs. And then what followed was even more rearranging of blocks and even some playing around with color schemes. After a lot more rearranging, it was time to try to hide a spring engine in the cockpit, mainly because that was the only area with room. I went for a spring engine rather than a hyperdrive for the simple reason they take up less space. I'd already experimented with a tiny spring engine when making Tails biplane and was pretty much just ripping off of that design. And while I was working out how to implement that, I also added in a small propeller facing downwards and a super engine in order so I could lock my position while flying and strafe left and right. Then it was finally time to get rid of those nonsense wings. I don't know why it took me so long, they were very clearly ineffective from the very beginning, but whatever, they're gone, get rid of them, don't look backwards on past failures and move forward. After this was a final stint of rearranging, trying to get the fuel, ammo, engine, propeller, gyro and spring engine all in the tiny space. It was finally achieved after much messing about, then there were very minor cosmetic changes done to the back, and another paint job, and we were good to go. And so there you have it, the Halo 2 Banshee with the ability to do Banshee tricks, fire its regular plasma bullets, do Banshee bombs, hold altitude, and even boost. And so, with all of that said and done, as always, thanks for watching, and until next time, I have been and still am Grim Grindle. As always, what will follow just about now is the layer by layer, so you can copy it into your own save. And while that plays, just to plug a few other things, you can follow me on Twitter if you want to see me occasionally say stuff. It's usually just me complaining about our internet speed, to be honest. Or if you're looking for a place to discuss Banjo Kazooie nuts and bolts with people, we've now set up a channel Grim and Grin Discord, which we're calling the Echo Chamber, which has a tab specifically dedicated to Banjo Kazooie nuts and bolts. So if you want to hear me occasionally ramble about the backwards nature of Australian internet, check out my Twitter. Or if you want to discuss nuts and bolts with people or sci-fi with people or whatever in real time, then feel free to join the Echo Chamber. Links to both, as I said, in the description below.